I am continuing uh, listing the abundant lead, silver, and gold mines throughout the state of Arizona listed by counties. So it's, it's much easier to locate them. First, let's go to Pima County. The Bates well mine is some 14 miles due south of the town of Ayo, spelling A-J-O. The Cerro Colorado mine and the Hyde Cement mine are about 42 miles due south of Tucson. The Dowling mine is located on the southern side of uh, Sonoita Mountains in Ayo Valley. The Esperanza mine is due west of the town of Sahuarita. The Gansain mine can be found due west of the Papago Indian Reservation. The Mammoth mine is some 30 miles due west of the town of Marana. The Horseshoe mine is located of Kayotoya Mountains. The Mineral Hill mine can be found by plying the nogales Tucson Road. The Old Boot mine is 28 miles due west of the town of Marana. The Olive mine is due west of the community of Santa Cruz. The Rosemount mines can be found in the Santa Rita Mountains in Furnace Gulch. The San Javier mine can be found on the Santa Cruz River. The Silver, Bay, the Silver Bell mine is about 35 miles west of the town of Marana. The Veco mine lies on the west side of the Cimarron mountain range. Let's move on to next county, Pinal County. The American flag mine is in the vicinity of the town of Oroco in the Catalina Mountains. The Ray Merth mine is about 10 miles to the southwest of the town of Superior. The Schultz mine is some 10 miles to the northeast of the town of Oroco. The Silver King mine is in the vicinity of Pinal City. Next, Santa Cruz County. The Austerlitz mine can be found in the Arivaca Pina Lake. The Duchesne mine is about 60 miles to the northeast of Nogales on the Patagonia Mountains east side. The French mine is some 20 miles due northeast of Nogales. The Luttrell mine is in the vicinity of the town of Lohiel. The Oro Bianco mine is some 9 miles due southeast of the town of Arivaca. The Salero mine is in the Santa Rita mountain range close to the foot of Salero Peak. The Washington mine is on the Patagonia Mountains east side in the vicinity of the town of Washington, Yavapai County. The Bluebell mine is around 6 miles due west of the town of Meyer. The Chaparral mine is due west of the town of Humboldt. The Congress mine is some five miles due north of Congress Junction. The Crown King Mine is 11 miles away from Cornville in the Bradshaw Mountains. The Goodwin Mine is close to Prescott on Turkey Hill. The Iron King Mine is in the immediate vicinity of the town of Walker. The Jersey Lily Mine is some 24 miles due south of Prescott. The Placitas mine is around eight miles to the east of People's Valley on the Weaver on the Weaver Mountains north east end. The Richinbar, the Richinbar mine is some five miles to the east of Bumblebee Station on the Aqua Fria River. The Senator mine can be found close to the head of the Hasayampa River. The Tiptoe mine is in the vicinity of Kirbeville near Castle Creek, Yuma County. The Castle Dome Mine is about 34 miles due north of the city of Yuma in the Castle Dome Mountain Range. The Fortuna Mine is 24 miles to the southeast of Yuma on Sheep Mountain's north face. The Kofa Mine is some 30 miles to the south of the town of Quartzsite. The La Paz Mine is 6 miles to the east of the town of Echrenberg. In the year 1929, near the U.S.-Mexico border, southeast of the town of Ayo, three miners chanced upon a collection of 700 gold bars. The last of these miners perished in the year 1963. 
never having disclosed where the secret cache was located. It had become an accepted fact since this discovery that the 700 bars they found were only one small portion of much larger hoard that was in the process of being shipped to Mexico around 1648 by Jesuits who had come under attack by natives and forced to hide the treasure. It is believed that somewhere in the same area as the cache is buried, treasure amounting to 4,000 to even 5,000 bars of silver as well as 2,000 bars of gold. A single Jesuit priest was the sole survivor of this attack. The priest attempted to relocate the hidden treasure a year later, but failed to find it again. A silver bullion from famous town Cerro Colorado mine reported to be hidden in a cave that lies between the Cerro Colorado and Cerro Chiquito mountain ranges. It is valued at more than $150,000, and we're talking about a lot more in today's dollars. According to the legend, beneath the ruined old Tumacacori mission lies a tunnel wherein a substantial treasure is hidden. Tumacacori mission is located some 20 miles due north of Nogales City via US Route 19 and around half a mile down the west bank of the Santa Cruz River. The lost Carreta Canyon treasure, also referred to as the Io treasure, is another treasure near the Tumacacori mission said to be hidden along the old Carreta road that connected the mission to the Mexican town of Sonora in Sonora State. The treasure is said to be valued at more than two million dollars and it's much more today. It is made up of silver and gold bullion along with church vessels. If you enjoy this program, please like it, subscribe it, and share it. The lost Arivaca treasure is reportedly in the vicinity of the town of Arivaca, supposedly inside of a cave in the Babacuyavari mountains. The lost Arivaca treasure was said to have been found but by the Papagao native in the year 1880. What he saw was a cache of silver and gold bars hidden in the 16th, hidden in the 1600s by Spanish Jesuits. This native took some bars to purchase supplies from a trading post nearby and was never seen again. Before he disappeared, he did tell the people in the trading post where he found it but was only able to give them approximate directions to this cave. The Black Gowns Treasure This treasure is reported to be slightly to the west of Tubac, specifically in the Third Little Mountain, somewhere due southwest of Tubac Presidio. This means that it is in Santa Cruz County, likely some 10 to 15 miles due north of Arivaca in the Sierrita Mountains. The Black Gown's treasure is said to be made up of gold bars, nuggets, dust, chalices, and statues hidden by Spanish missionaries in the 1700s. Some time ago, a hunter hailing from Tucson went searching for the Black Gown's treasure and decided to look into an abandoned mining shack nearby. It was located uh, near the suspected location. And there he found two large tin cans where he filled with gold nuggets that were worth more than $20,000. Today, this value is much, much higher. The Guadalupe treasure is one of the most well-known hidden treasures in Arizona. The legend has it that the Guadalupe treasure is the hiding place of more than 200 mules worth of gold nuggets and solid bars, as well as, as well as 2,000 mules worth of silver ore. This caravan belonged to Jesuits who were forced from the Spanish New World colonies during the Jesuit expulsion of 1767. 
This extensive mule train was a large target for bandits, especially Native American raiders, who would band together to intercept it as the Jesuits were around four miles to the southwest of Tumacacori Mission. According to the legend, all of the treasure covered by the mule train was deposited in the nearby abandoned mine before they fled to Mexico. Although it has sparked a lot of interest, the legitimacy of this story is thrown to question by the fact that no mention of the Jesuits returning to retrieve the treasure was ever recorded. If they even really did hit it. Over $100,000 worth of gold was allegedly buried nearby a small city of Vail, located 70 miles from Tucson, going southeast on US 10 Santa Cruz County. In Pontano Canyon, where the old La Cienega Pony Express station is located in between Benson, Santa Cruz County, and Tucson, the Cienega brothers, well-known bandits of the 19th century, have buried, according to the legend, 75,000 of gold coins, which they stole from the army. Guevavi Mission in the, San Ca in the San Cayetano Mountains, northeast of Nogales, near Calabasas, is a, is a site of a great horde of gold church sacramentals, as well as a few hundred gold bars buried. In County 82, around 20 miles due northeast of Nogales and west of Patagonia, there is a ruined adobe house that once belonged to the prospector. Somewhere in around the ruined house, there is said to be buried cash of gold coins. If you enjoy this program, please like it, subscribe it, and share it.